Do you want to use camping equipment when you're camping out in the wild without a generator? I asked my husband to rig up a system so I could use my Instant Pot when we're boondocking. In this video, he's going to show you his easy and affordable inverter installation. It includes a Victron Smart Shunt so we know exactly how much power we're using and how much we still have remaining left in the batteries. I'm so excited. I'm going to cook you something in the Instant Pot tonight. All right, let's go. This is my easy do-it-yourself inverter hack. We'll put a link below of all the equipment I use for this project. Now, this is a quick description and overview of our recent inverter installation we just did on our fifth wheel. So we start with two six volt batteries linked in series on this side, gives us 12 volts. Uh, essentially we have the same thing on this side. That's all linked together with four gauge battery wire gives us about 420 amps altogether. Both of these lead acid battery compartments are vented with this hose and it vents the uh, dangerous gases right outside this port here. We chose the Hypsilon 2000 watt pure sign inverter because it will run anything inside our trailer with exception of the air conditioning units and also because it can be turned on and off remotely with this key fob remote control, which is uh, real cool. So we connected it to this 90 degree plug, which uh, goes through the bulkhead. We drilled a hole uh, right here, and that actually goes into our basement where you can see where it runs along the framework up and over and down through the bottom of the trailer into a uh, 125 volt 15 amp adapter that plugs in to the 50 amp uh, shore power. Mm -hmm. This Victron smart shot connects to your mobile device via Bluetooth using their connect app and displays the amount of electrical current flowing either into or out of your batteries. Before you turn your inverter on you want to make sure that you select your circuit breaker for the converter inside your trailer off so that you're not trying to uh, charge the batteries with the inverter. You also want to make sure that you select your refrigerator to gas as well as your hot water heater. We love the ability to turn on the inverter from inside the trailer too. Also throughout the day we try to keep our batteries charged with our solar panels so we have one portable 100 watt that plugs in here and we have one that's roof mounted 190 watt that, uh, that keeps the batteries charged throughout the day. So we love this thing. Leave questions and comments below.